Hey guys, Brantley here with 30 Minute Fisherman. I know right now it's top water time and I was just uh, thinking about a tip that I use a lot uh, as far as tuning buzz baits. You know, you hear a lot of guys say they tie them to the antenna of the car and this, that, and the other. But I like to use this method of just, uh, now this only works when Whenever you're driving around, say somewhere where you're not, I don't know, out on the interstate, so on and so forth. But um, I like to just hold them out the window just like this. And then that way, when you get going, you can actually hear that buzz bait. And this one, definitely does not have to squeak and squeal that I won't yet. A lot of times when you just tie them to your antenna, you can't even hear them. But so again, usually this process doesn't take too long. It just takes a little while to let that blade get worn out a little bit. Of course, you always want to crimp, crimp the rivet on the blade. So you'll get that nice little, that nice little squeak. But again, Like I'm saying, if you had the wind open like this, and you're doing this, I'm sorry, bear with me guys, I'm trying to film and drive here. Not a really good idea, I guess, but, uh, you know, at least you can hear it. And when that buzz bait gets to that right squeak, you'll know it. Um, You'll hear it when it gets that nice little whine, nice little whining squeak to it. So again, this is just a nice little, nice little tip. And see there you can, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's starting to get, this buzz bait is already starting to get that nice little Nice little, nice little squeal to it. Nice little squeak there. And again, this is just little things a lot of people don't do that, you know, <clears throat> hopefully put you a few more fish in the boat. Um, because obviously over time, all buzz baits will, um, start to squeak and, and squeal and everything on their own but you know, that's a that's a whole process <laughs> so this way you just shorten the time of wearing that wearing that blade and that rivet out and then once you get on the water Here's a little bit better example. I'm going to the Spader Stretch Road now. If I can just drive. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can definitely hear it. And this buzz bait's starting to get a nice little squeak to it. So again, just another quick tip this morning. So, I guess take it for what it's worth. Hopefully you'll enjoy this tip. And I'm out, guys.